Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit more serious. Um, I've seen a lot of other homeschooling YouTubers make a similar video or at least um, write about while, why they are deciding to homeschool or why they decided to. Um, I have multiple reasons um, and I'd like to discuss those with you. So I just figured that this could be like a little chat and um, some of my views may be, um, you may disagree with and that's okay. Um, I think that some healthy um, disagreements are okay, but um, I think that um, this is what's been in my heart and I think that I just wanna share that with everybody. So the first reason, very clear, um, I think a lot of people who have switched to homeschooling this year are doing it for the same reason and that's COVID. Now, our local schools, um, in all the schools across the country, um, I live um, in the United States, are doing the best that they can with the resources that they have been given to socially distance and keep our children safe. That being said, it's not enough, in my opinion. Um, the school, um, our local school district um, has taken great measures to keep students socially distanced and to, um, they're even going as far as um, having kids eat lunch at their desks that will be spaced apart, the six feet. I think that's great. Um, but they also made it very clear that they do not have the resources or the staff to clean as often as um, necessary. They won't be able to sanitize um, work areas and they will not be able to clean the bathrooms often enough, um, in my opinion. I do believe that they're doing the best that they can, but um, it's just not where I want it to be. and. Um, the other, th I also want to make it very clear that this has nothing to do with our teachers. Um, our teachers are often asked to be, um, put both literally and figuratively in the line of fire for our students. And we expect that when our kids go to school that our teachers will protect our students, but when it comes to making decisions to keep our students safe, they're not given enough of a voice. And I personally know quite a few teachers um, and majority of them believe that we should have switched to a fully remote learning model. Now our local school is offering remote learning. I did not go with that option because our school, still to this day, our school is starting in about five days. Um, they'll be starting school and so will I be starting homeschooling. They have still not given a remote learning plan to the parents and um, that um, didn't sit, really sit well with me. Um, I know that they're really trying. They're trying to work all of this out but um, my kids need a little bit more structure than that. So we are switching to homeschooling, but um, the teachers have said that they believe that um, a remote learning option would be best for most students. However, as far as funding goes, schools are not able to do that because um, funding could be withheld. Um, do they not open? Plus, I do realize that I am lucky that I have the ability to stay home with my children. Not every parent has that, unfortunately, and some of them rely on school for childcare as a form of childcare for their children and so that they can work to provide. And um, that's really unfortunate that we live in a sort of age where parents are being forced to choose that sort of way like I'm gonna send my kids to school I'm not sure if it's the right decision but I have to because I need to go to work or um, I just have um, you know all of these things that are just going in my mind when it comes to this I think that most parents are um, 
just trying their best and I think the teachers are trying to advocate for the students as well as they can and I just want to make it very clear that I really respect our teachers. Um, I love them. I think that they're doing great. I think we expect too much of them and it's not fair. Um, th that being said, um, I do know that there are some people who don't believe that this COVID, um, that this COVID situation is as big of a deal as it's being made out to be. And that may be the case. Um, I've had this discussion with quite a few people that we may be wrong. Um, this may not be a big deal. Um, personally, I'm not willing to take that chance with my children. Um, and I'm not willing to take that chance for the teachers. Um, I don't want any part of, um, it. I think that, um, we need to be keeping our teachers, the staff and the students and ch our children in general safe to the best of our ability. Now moving on past COVID, um, homeschooling had been in my heart for a long time before um, now. Um, when my daughter first started pre-K, I wanted to homeschool. Me and my husband sat down and discussed homeschooling and ultimately decided to send her to public school because we live in a very rural area and socialization is, um, out here is few and far between. And we decided for her social and emotional well-being that it was best to send her to school. I would have preferred to keep her home. Um, and I think in a lot of ways my husband would have as well, but it was very a big worry of ours that she wasn't going to get any socialization with people outside of the house or much socialization. Um, me and my husband have already discussed what we're going to do next year and the answer is we are not 100% sure. If this goes really well, we may decide to keep homeschooling. If it doesn't, um, we may decide to send them back. We aren't sure. Um, well, we also are going to read how it, how the children do. Um, I want to see how well this year goes for them and we'll figure out what works for us and what doesn't as the year progresses. My reasonings for wanting to homeschool originally were mainly outdated learning resources. I don't know how it is across the whole country. I imagine it's the same, but some of the resources and things that we teach our children um, are very outdated. For example, they, um, I, I, Sorry, I want to make sure that I word this the way that I want to. Um, in 2019, the state of Maine changed Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day, which I thought was great. However, our schools did not update that. Um, Columbus Day is still taught in the school the calendars for meals and for our school schedule still say that they have Columbus Day off. Um, they've, when I've mentioned it, they've said, well, we reused the schedules from prior years, which I can kind of understand, but I think that when you're in a school educational setting that we need to teach children the most updated information we have. Even when I was a child and we were learning about Columbus Day, I didn't understand how we could say that somebody discovered America, even on the most basic level, like even if I'm not getting into the nitty gritty, disgusting details of the things that Columbus did, we were taught that Columbus discovered America and when he got here, Native Americans were here. That didn't make any sense to me. Why um, would, how could if he had discovered somewhere that was already inhabited? Um, so, it's just the fact that I think as we progress as a society and as we learn more, we need to alter what we're teaching our children and public education does not give enough power to the teachers to allow them to teach updated information. It has to be in the approved learning um, resources and that's not always the most up to date. Um, I often think that the way that schools are today 
or even when I was in school, um, hold some kids back. Um, my son is a little advanced for his age. My daughter um, is very, very intelligent as well. And um, they both have some learning specialties like that they need help with. My daughter was in Title I reading. My son is very energetic. Um, and I think that in a public school setting, it's very hard to cater to each individual's child's needs. It just is, and that's not anyone's fault. Um, but when you, when we are forced to pack classrooms full of 20 plus children, um, one teacher cannot give each child individual one-on-one -on -one assistance. It just can't happen and it's nobody's fault. And I'm sure most of the teachers wish that they had more time. There's just not enough time in the day, not in the time in a school day. So I think that homeschooling is a great option for a lot of families. I think that public schooling is a great option for a lot of families. I think that every school and every family needs to try to work to do what's best for their children and that's just what I'm trying to do here and that's why um, I've decided to homeschool this year um, thank you all for watching um, I know that this got a little heavy but um, I don't want my videos to typically be heavy but um, I have been asked by a couple of people why I've decided to homeschool this year and I wanted to share all of that with you and um, I just want to make it very clear one more time that I love all of you public school teachers, private school teachers, teachers in general. Um, you all are doing great. Keep up. Keep it up. Um, and keep fighting for our children. Thank you. Bye.